Hey everyone, so since Frontier is not going to give me any realistic or interesting burrows anytime soon, I just decided, well then I'm going to make them myself. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to build a burrow for my fennec foxes. And it's all going to be set underneath a picturesque romantic cafe and... Yes, I'm lying to myself. Definitely not a cafe. It's definitely another tavern, but I've built way too many taverns. Yeah, I don't have a drinking problem. <laughs> Anyway, when it comes to this cafe, it is a renovation. It is built on the place where the old meerkat habitat was. And before you ask that meerkat habitat, nope, didn't work. I built it before the Africa pack was even announced. So I had no idea what the size requirements for the meerkats were. And also it never really was a habitat in the first place because there was never a habitat gate or anything like that. But I tried to have a little bit of the mix of that old meerkat habitat style which was all over the place because I tried to somewhat incorporate the Ethiopian style and then the Ghan Bashar style which is more like generic Arabian and just everywhere across the world and yeah the only reason why it somewhat mixed well with the Ethiopian style is because it was the same color and it was all wood. You'll maybe see the old meerkat habitat sometimes in the background. This in a way doesn't actually feel like a poison blade build like I love the build but it's too cute again. This is the place where you take Instagram photos, which, no. Whenever it's a poison blade built, it's a place where you either get murdered or... Well, I haven't built that many brothels. Like, you would think that I would have built at least 50 brothels, but I've only built 3 brothels. And one of them didn't even make it into Kean Al-Bashar. One of them is just floating in the void right now. Also, yeah, I never realized that we didn't have plaster arches before. Maybe we had them, but they just didn't look like this. But I love to use those arbor pieces. <laughs> and thankfully, well, Kane and someone else pointed out what they actually were. And I never really thought of that. Because when I saw the trailer where the pieces were used, I think they were used for like that sort of table that... Um, something again this is the fun of me not looking things up before i start a voiceover i am just generally clueless all the time but anyway so as i said this cafe was a little bit too cute too innocent for me and then i made a secret little area connected to the fennec fox burrow and it might just be a simple storage area like a simple underground storage area i mean it can be sure you would need to have your storage underground to keep it kind of cool because Everywhere else is a 40 degrees. Yes, just look down in the, what is it, the UI and you will see it's 39 degrees. And that's a constant in Ken Abishar as well. This is the build suit, but it's the exact same biome and everything as Ken Abishar. But um, yeah, it could just be a simple storage area. Or it could be used for smuggling. You can say whatever you want, but Ken Abishar, I always try to have something not completely innocent in there. So, while some people might be taking, well, I don't think phones exist in Ken Abishai or Instagram, but uh, let's just pretend like, well, some people are making Instagram fi fil filters. Whoa. While some people are taking Instagram photos upstairs, downstairs they're smuggling, what would be uh, like a worthy good of smuggling into Ken Abishai? Hmm, poison probably, weapons, anything that can kill you. Exotic pets, maybe? But anyway, when it came to the domes, because I wanted to have two domes on this building, because of course, domes make everything better. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to use the domes that Frontier provided us with the Africa pack. Well, I say domes, it's actually a dome, because it's singular, there's only one dome, and it's... I have said this before already, but it's... It's one dome, and it's not like, oh, it's one dome, but there are multiple sizes. No, it's one dome, one size. Which means that it's very specific in where you can use it, because if your building is too large, it will just kind of fall flat. If your building is too small, it will be like an umbrella on top of it. So I'm going to keep making my own domes. And I'm probably going to make like a tutorial for how I make my domes, which is basically going to be me being very happy about the mud brick pillars for mm, maybe 5 minutes, 10 minutes. I don't want to make tutorials or a tutorial that's like 10 minutes like I want to get like straight to the point of like 
yeah, you need to do this, this, and this. Bye-bye. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, go back to the actual build. So, yeah, I tried to have that old style that I used in the old Meerkat habitat with, well, the old Meerkat habitat, the building attached to it was basically just a wooden box. Well, it was a fancy wooden box. But then what building isn't a fancy, well, wooden or stone box? Well, there's lately also buildings that are just completely round and it's a hell to do the interior for, but... Oh, I'm not building those in Ganon or anywhere else. If you want a round building, you're at the wrong place, buddy. <laughs> well, I can make round buildings, but it's usually a tower or a dome. Yeah, I don't particularly like modern round buildings. I like them, but I just... It's a hell to do the interior for. I already said that, I'm a broken record. Also, you might have noticed that this episode can be dedicated to Boys and Blade is a Dumbass or Frontier has Cursed Me. Either one of the, those two can be correct, because in the first one third of the video, things were just flying into the screen randomly, because there's this option in my recording software to not record to the cursor or the mouse, which I usually do when I make the like cinematic end result shots. However, I forgot to turn it back on. So for the first one third of the video, there were just things flying into the screen and you didn't really know what was going on and then also this is the second time i'm recording this voiceover because the first time i did it i i don't know what happened i think my mic was just not really well plugged in but there was a static noise in the background if there's static noise here as well i'm i'm going to be i don't know eat a shoe nah I'm just going to be annoyed. Anyway, so um, yeah, that happened. Luckily, the one thing that made me happy, which is weird and strange on so many levels, is the Fennec Foxes themselves. Yeah, those animals surprised me when I thought they wouldn't. And it's not like they have any new mechanics or they're also not that interesting. They're kind of just like, they're frontier or planet zoo animals, so yeah. But what did surprise me was their hitboxes are actually the size of the animal and not the size of a freaking elephant. So I could build those realistic burrows. So yeah, Frontier disappointed me with the meerkats but weirdly surprised me with the fennec foxes. Which also I looked closer at the fennec foxes. They look a lot more floofy. Also, there's an issue with the building system. Well, there's multiple. I think the building system is a little bit buggy right now, but um, yeah, sometimes it just places things on the other side of the map and you won't notice. And well, the rotation uh, thing, if you copy something or well, yeah, it's copying and then want to rotate it again, it just gets locked in place. So making domes right now is actually pretty hard. Or well, it's not hard, it just is annoying because you have to redo a couple of things. Also, when I said this is a cafe, I actually think it could be a cafe. Because it's like, it has that certain vibe. It doesn't really feel like a tavern, it doesn't feel like a place you would get drunk. It really feels like one of those fancy places where you have like a million different types of coffee. And they're all way too expensive. You all need to sell at least one kidney to get a coffee here. And yeah, good times. Back when I was addicted to coffee and had like five espressos a day. They didn't really do anything for me though. Like I was still grumpy. I was also not really awake after five cups of espresso. Was it five cups of espresso? Uh, the whole day or was it just like the morning and then throughout the rest of the day I would just get normal coffee as well. Yeah, I don't drink coffee anymore. Yeah, I only drink coffee on special occasions. Well, not special occasions. Whenever I go into grocery shopping, I get an iced coffee. But only one. And it's a Starbucks, uh, like one of those Starbucks things that you can get at a grocery store or supermarket. So it's like 90% sugar. <laughs> There's not really much coffee. It just it's dessert. Also, 
yeah, I tried making this into a blueprint because it's a renovation and the way that I do that is by making a blueprint, placing it in the area where it's supposed to go, remove the old build, then take like the cinematic shot with the new building, go back or backspace it a lot and then have the old build and have the exact same shot because the camera doesn't move. With this one, yeah, all the terrain work that you see right now didn't go over. There was, again, I think Frontier cursed me because it just wouldn't work. And this might be me because Ken on the Shire is very built up already. So there's paths in the way, there's a heavy terrain work already. There's other habitats nearby. So that could perfectly well be the reason. But I just like to blame Frontier for this one. <laughs> I just want to say Frontier cursed me because I hate it on the Meerkats, which I still don't like. But anyway, so all the terrain work that you see right now, yeah, it's going to be kind of different in the end result. Well, I try to keep the same, well, things going, but it's going to be slightly different because I don't... I don't think you can do the terrain work exactly the same twice. So there's going to be just minor, like very minor variations. Luckily though, all of the rock work, like all of the pieces I could take over, it's just the terrain work that wouldn't do it. So I had to make it not a habitat blueprint, but an actual just normal blueprint. So I had like the guidance of the rocks and everything, but anything else, I mean, I still love this build. Like. I say, oh, it's too cute, it's too innocent, but for some reason it really works well. Even in Kayal Shah, which is like the most murdery place possible. Well, again, that has been retrofitted into being less murdery and more just political intrigue and scheming and such. But uh, yeah, Kayal Shah is still more dangerous than Valhalla. In Valhalla, you just have to be afraid of like a tavern brawl or wild animals. In Canal Bashar, you have to be afraid of everyone else. Every human being, which is kind of realistic. I think humans are more dangerous than any kind of wild animal. Because wild animals, you can at least kind of see coming that they want to kill you. Humans are very well at hiding that. This sounds very, well, dark, but then it's Canal Bashar, so it works. Also, yeah, there's a lot of rock work involved here. But then the rock work was my only guidance on how to redo all the terrain work. And I don't have to build fences. I love this feature that Frontier added, which is that animals won't escape if you like toggle it on and off in like sandbox mode. So this means that I can go back and remove a lot of fences that I mostly just put there because otherwise the animals would run all over the place. Actually, this is so annoying, but... When I made that giant serpent skeleton and did the cinematic shots or the end results for them, I didn't see that one of my donkeys escaped. If I had just waited a little bit with those cinematic shots, we would have a donkey running across the screen. <laughs> because whenever an animal escapes, they just book it. They don't just like peacefully walk away. No, they just run throughout the entire area. Yeah, so no more of that but yeah i'm now so happy that like i don't have to sort of ruin the vibe or ruin the immersion in these builds anymore by placing unnecessary i wanted to say skeletons <laughs> that serpent skeleton is not unnecessary it's very necessary <laughs> what i meant was unnecessary fences because yeah this is supposed to be like on the edge of Kernobyshire, if anyone remembers the old Meerkat's habitat, it's... Well, it's in between the old town of Kernobyshire, or the old quarter, and the Ethiopian-style village that I built. So it is on the edge with, like, the desert, and if I had to place a fence there, it would just... It would just ruin the immersion. Like, you're not going to build a fence just in the middle of the desert for no apparent reason. So yeah, I'm very glad with that addition to the game. I kind of lost the word there. Like my brain was just like, error, <laughs> error, error. Again, this is the fun of going into these voiceovers completely without a script. Half of the time I look like an idiot, but it's funny to me. For some reason, me looking like an idiot is funny to me, but hey. <laughs> and then there's a lot of 
There's a fly fry ling fly fly. There's a fly fry brain bar. There's a fly flying across my screen. I will zap you with my electronic fly swapper. Just it. Let's just move on because I think I didn't say any correct words there. All right, fences. Yeah, I wanted to use the well post that we had or were given with the Africa pack, but then I just like my stick fences a little bit more. They have just that natural vibe and just like this is the old town of Canamshire, it's the Elysian fields of Canamshire. It's not going to be a perfect, all nice and such. This is. Not like a cafe that you would see in the middle of the grand city of Kanabashar. So it needs to be a little bit rustic. And also, yeah, the suburbs of Kanabashar are probably going to be season 4 of Kanabashar. Because otherwise, season 4 of Kanabashar would be this short. Because I think, well, it's going to be a city. So there's probably not going to be that many animal builds. But also, yeah, otherwise... It like, I don't want to pull a Game of Thrones and have like, oh yeah, season 1, 2, 3, or like the first seasons are great, and then the last season makes you want to remove the entire show from your brain and never speak about it again. Game of Thrones really just like, it just disappeared. <laughs> like, nobody talks about it. Before it was all like, oh, what's going to happen in the next episode? Oh, di what did you think of this episode? And now it's just like, let's pretend that never existed. <laughs> so... Like, I want season 4, which it sounds so weird, but the last season of Keanu Shard to be just as epic as everything that went beforehand. And if I didn't include the suburbs of Keanu Shard into that, then you would have uh, the flies back. Go away. It's like a tiny fruit fly. Go away. You're not wanted. You're just like the meerkats. Yeah, I should stop bu bugging the meerkats, but... When you have high hopes and they are dash, you just... Well, I just keep on going. That fly is still here. Go away. Nobody likes you. But anyway, so I wanted to make this little... Little nook in the Fennec Fox's burrow, which... Because of the hitbox of the Fennec Fox's, I can actually make a realistic burrow. Well, it's still a little bit large, but then... Well, Planet Zoo, if you put the camera in a small space it just it doesn't want to be there it's like trying to bait a cat it just it wants to escape it wants to freak out so it's still a little bit larger but it's as close as you can get to a realistic burrow also it's not really realistic in either way because from what i've read a fennec fox's burrow can have like 15 entrances sometimes even more I think the highest number of entrances that they once found was like 60. Yeah, this bro has like at max 8. I couldn't do 15 entrances because we would still have to all fit underneath that cafe. And yeah, um, that would have been horrifying to try and make 15 entrances. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. The Fennec Foxes pleasantly amazed me, or pleasantly surprised me, not amazed me. They're still kind of planted to animals, so they are not as bad as the meerkats. And I love the cafe, even though it's still a really innocent looking place. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, there is the like button. If you want to see more, there's the subscribe button. And then there's the notification button. But before that one stops or starts working, that fly will be gone. I still see you. So with that being said, have a wonderful day guys. Bye bye.